The hell did he just do? I have no idea, Joel. Boys, I believe they call that the breezy flick. But before we get to the breezy flick, let's go over just a couple of the basics. Here's the pitch of the field, the ball, these are your teammates, these are the boost pads, these are the small boost pads. Our objective is to get it into these goals, which have goal posts, a backboard, this is your competitor, also known as your opponent, and so how do we beat our opponents? First, we kick off. The kickoff, how every game starts. But in order to kick off, you must know how to move your car. This is a jump, or a dodge. You get two of them, you can jump twice in a row, you can hold it for one and a half seconds, you can use it to do a lot. This is boost, it's the most fun. This is called flying or an aerial. Making contact with the ball is called a touch or a hit. This is the corner. You can make passes from here. Centers or centering. Clears. If you're in your first game and you tie at the end of regulation, this is now called overtime. And in overtime, you might need to know some of the more advanced words if you're going to win. This is a block. This is a chip shot. Here is a cherry pick. Here is a 50-50. Here is a fake. Here is a wall shot. Here is a lob shot. Here is a rebound. A bounce shot. This is called a dribble or dribbling. And if you're doing this in game and you're perspirating a little bit, it's called sweating or being sweaty or trying hard. That's okay, I'm gonna try hard too. And don't forget about power sliding. Very underrated. Congrats, you won a Rocket League game. Now you get to rank up. What are the ranks anyways? There is bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, champion, one, two, and three, and the highest rank of grand champion. If you're in one of those higher ranks, you might be familiar with these strategic terms, such as shadow defense, going back post, kickoff fakes, Cheat or cheating. Contesting. Positioning or proper positioning. And you're probably familiar with whiffing or a whiff. Oh, and that reminds me, you might want to know some of our favorite Rocket League content creators. This is Sunless Khan. But not everything in Rocket League is good. There are some bad things that can and will happen. So you're in a game and you get packet loss, the game's worst way to lag. Then you learn about quick chat, a great way to talk to your teammates. But your teammates are toxic. Yes, Rocket League has lots of toxicity. So you try to ignore all of that and then you get bumped. And worse than that, you can get demoed. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Somehow you can deal with all of that and you keep playing. But the other team has a smurf. A smurf is a veteran player who created an alternative account just to shit on your day and make you feel terrible. So you FF, or vote to forfeit. When you gotta go, you gotta go. So what are some of the more miscellaneous terms out there that you should know? First of all, you must know rule number one. Rule number one is an intimate moment between two cars that have somehow found themselves stuck to each other. The rule states that neither car shall break this connection until the next goal is scored. Doing so results in bad luck for the next 1 to 43 days. Of course, you have to know the zero second goal. The real OGs are probably fuming right now because it was the original number one rule, but rules change, okay guys? Get over it. Anyways, when the timer reaches zero seconds in regulation, the game does not end until the ball touches the ground. This can result in some crazy moments. In fact, this zero second goal will go down in history as the greatest moment in Rocket League, better known as, this is Rocket League. What you just watched were professional Rocket League players who play in the RLCS, or the Rocket League Championship Series. Yes, Rocket League has a highly competitive professional scene, and those pros are able to easily hit shots like these. A ceiling shot. Double touch. Dunks. Turtle shots. 
pogo shots. They can hit pinches, which are when the ball gets squished and pops out really fast. A cookster pinch is when you slam your car in the wall and blast the ball away. A ground pinch is when your car slams into the ground at the same time as the ball and you produce massive speed. Air dribbling is when you carry the ball on your car in the air with repeated touches. Doing this is also called smooth or clean when the mechanic is done in an eye-pleasing way. And remember bumping? There are aerial bumps where people bump in the air after taking a shot to ensure a goal. This is a flip reset. This is a Philip reset. It's the same thing, but more meme -y. Hitting one of these shots could be called nutty, meaning it was a crazy good shot. A flip is the second jump or dodge that you get after your first jump. This is a flip cancel, when you flip but hold the opposite direction in order to not flip. This is a pre-flip, when you jump towards the ball early and touch it at the end of your flip. Brazil is when your team does the right thing and forfeits when you're up 7-1 against the other team. This is a stall. There's a tutorial in the description. This is a cookseer twist, a way of flying your car. This is a tornado twist, another way of flying your car. Recoveries are getting your car to be stable after it lands from an aerial or any time all four wheels are not on the ground. A half flip is a way to maintain speed. A wave dash is another way to maintain speed. Going supersonic is when you reach full speed. And there's a cool sound that's associated with it. Here's a flick, something you do at the end of a dribble. Here's our tornado flick, a musty flick, 45 degree flick, a 90 degree flick, a 180 degree backflip. This is sounding kind of like a skateboard game all of a sudden. And when you're too good and you're bored, doing some of these flicks combined with other mechanics for the sole purpose of looking cool and weirdly flexing on everyone else in the game is called freestyling. And lastly, we have the breezy flick we saw in the very beginning of the video. And guys, if you enjoyed the video and saw some of your favorite shots, make sure to leave a like. If I forgot any, comment below with what I forgot. And also, I've included every single link to some of these shots and mechanics and whatever miscellaneous terms that you may want to know more about in the description. So make sure to go check that out because you'll find the tutorials for some of these shots. And if you're curious, everything should be down there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next week with another one. Later! I wanted to save this one for last. <laughs> no.